Well, did you feel it? The Garden State started with a little shake this morning. A 2.2 magnitude aftershock happened in Hunterdon County around 1.40 a.m. The big one that we all felt was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake months ago. This would be our 200th aftershock. So let's bring in Roberto Macis Arce, PhD candidate in seismology at Rutgers University. Thanks for coming on with us. And it's July, almost August. So when are these aftershocks going to stop? It's very hard to tell. I think that we have to keep into account that the rocks in New Jersey are old and are very cold. So when an earthquake happens, there's a lot of energy, seismic energy that remains and the rocks need to accommodate that remaining energy. So what is happening with all of these aftershocks is that the rocks are readjusting themselves and every time there's a readjust, there's an aftershock. So it's very hard to tell when there's gonna be a, a stop of the aftershock, but it's all a sequence of the same uh, event. So do you think more are possibly coming? Yeah, 100%, yeah. We need to, uh, the rocks need to dissipate the seismic energy and uh, yeah, once the seismic energy is dissipated, the rocks did their readjustment process, then the aftershocks should stop, right? If there's no other uh, big earthquake that would originate another uh, event. Yeah, so when is it considered a new earthquake? So another earthquake uh, sequence would be when we have an earthquake with a magnitude higher than 4.8 which is the magnitude of the uh, April 5th earthquake. So then we are gonna, we will just start another uh, earthquake sequence. Roberto, thanks for coming on and sharing that with us. We appreciate it.